Hey everyone, Justin Ward here with Invisible Fence Brand in Delmarva. This makes episode 20 of our daily vlog. Uh, make sure you check out our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. We would love to have any kind of question about pets, retriever training, business in general. Uh, make sure you get them in and we can answer them on the show. Um, today I'm going to talk about Invisible Fence Brand, how it works outside. A lot of my videos before this uh, talk about the GPS 2.0 our Boundary Plus technology and our traditional style fence. So I'm going to try to go into a little bit more detail with that as well. Um, I've got a diagram here real quick. I'm going to show you our traditional style fence. The way that works is where we bury a wire in the yard itself. The transmitter that we mount in the garage or basement transmits a digital single through that wire that creates a, a digital circle or invisible wall, we call it, uh, anywhere from two inches up to 10 feet. The only downside with the traditional style fence, as most people know, is the dog could get on the outside of it, they're free to go, and if they try to come back into the yard, they always got corrected for coming back in. So, first off, I say it's all about training. So, I still offer the traditional style fence. Um, a lot of people are watching their budgets nowadays, so um, we can really work with the traditional style fence and getting it installed and then maybe upgrading later on down the road to our newer Boundary Plus system. The way our new Boundary Plus system works is where the wire is laid in the yard, the single runs from there on out. It's an invisible wall that continues on forever, is what I call it. Once we mount the transmitter in the garage or basement, uh, the dog is able to go right to the wire itself, so it gives them plenty of room to run around in it, um, especially in uh, Lewis, Delaware, Rehoboth Beach. Uh, we got a lot of clients that have their houses right on top of each other, so we really maximize the yard with this new Boundary Plus system. What I like about it is once the dog crosses over the line itself, it gives them that correction the entire time they're out there. Once the dog turns around coming back into the yard, it shuts itself off. I always refer to it as applying pressure and unapplying pressure. The dog's under pressure to get back into the yard once it's on the outside of this Boundary Plus system. Once it comes back into the yard itself, that pressure is unapplied and it is rewarded for being back in its own area. So it's made a world of difference compared to the traditional style fence where dogs are always focused on everything else. They get that correction, the correction stops with the traditional style, they're, they're back on that mindset of what they're after in the first place. The Boundary Plus never lets them have an opportunity to think about what they're after in the first place, it gives them that correction, and it makes them reflect on the training that we show them and they're coming back into the yard itself. So a lot of people don't know that now we have the GPS 2.0. Uh, a lot of people are actually familiar with the pet safe brand wireless system that you can buy from the store. Uh, this is totally different from that. Um, the wireless system in the store, you can maybe get 75 to 100 feet out around the house. You got to do a circular location in the house for that system. Um, but with the GPS 2.0, we can go anywhere from five acres to the largest we've done is 1100 acres now with the Invisible Fence brand. Uh, basically what we do is kind of pull up Google Maps, pull up your property, and we can plot off the Invisible Fence brand wherever you want it. Um, we can do seclusion zones, uh, we can keep dogs out of ponds, we can keep them out of your garden. Uh, and the way it works is just like the Boundary Plus system. Uh, the two different receivers, this is our Boundary Plus and traditional style micro light receiver. It's got over 52 different settings on it. It's got a light to let you know the life of the battery. And the batteries will last anywhere from three to six months depending on how much your dog tests the fence itself. The GPS 2.0 is a little bit bulky, um, but a lot of people are liking it because now it's got 99 different levels, it's all wireless, and it recharges. So um, it takes two or three hours to charge up, and then you can get 72 hours worth of battery life out of this. So uh, it's got your antenna on there, and it's got your battery life indicator, just like our microlight receiver. So uh, it's pretty neat. We've got a lot of opportunities with the Invisible Fence brand. Uh, the technology is constantly changing, and we're really able to work with these dogs, especially some of our programs that we got on training these pets to your house. So. Um, if you're interested, check us out. Uh, it's a free estimate to come out. Uh, it takes 30 to 45 minutes every time, uh, and we'd be glad to meet your pet.